from the land, and I am romantically challenged. My wife is from Venus, and I am from Mars, but we must learn to live together on Earth. Although I don't like to talk or share my feelings, I am here tonight to do both, because I love my wife. Who's up? Hi, my name is Dan, and I am romantically challenged. Hi, Hi Dan. Dan. Dan, I want you to share your feelings, even though it goes against everything you stand for as a man. I tried the trick that Jerry taught us last week. Ah, 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 ah. A trick is what a two-bit magician does at a county fair. Jerry was given a technique, and a technique... Hey, Dr. Phil, let him finish. So anyway, I decided I'd use Jerry's technique Last week, my wife came to me all exasperated and pulled her hair out and whatnot about her job. And I used Jerry's words exactly. I said, now honey, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to listen or fix it? And what'd she say? Listen. Fix it. And so anyway, I tried to listen. I really did. But in the middle of listening, I came up with a seven point plan to fix it. I'm so ashamed. It's okay, Dan. Hey. You're multitasking, all right? And that is very hard for your untrained, one-track man brain to do. Feel proud of that, all right? Who's next? Hey, I'll go. Uh, hey, guys, I'm Jerry, and uh, I'm a, or was, romantically challenged. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. hey. yeah, I uh, actually went through the uh, program, and now I'm a, a real romantic, according to someone at home. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Remember when we talked about how we're supposed to love our wives like Christ loves the church? Well, gentlemen, mission accomplished. <laughs> okay? This weekend, I saw some extra charges on Cindy's bank card. So, yeah. But I, uh, you know, instead of yelling and screaming like I normally would, uh, I acted in a more Christ-like manner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I simply turned over her nightstand and her scrapbooking table and said, Get out of here, money changer! <laughs> I was like, Get out! <laughs> I don't think that's what the Ephesians 5 passage means. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm sorry, Bill Gates. Uh, who are you? No, I, I think when it says that we should love our wives like Christ loved the church, that means that we're supposed to serve and, and sacrifice. For hey! Them. I was cleansing the temple. I was cleansing the temple. Okay, different perspective, not necessarily right, just different. All right, I think the question is, how many of you have ever done anything for your wife without desiring anything in return? Maybe sitting on the couch, cuddling up to her, watching a movie, maybe The Notebook. Hmm? Are you even married? Jesus wasn't married. Now look, the point I'm trying to, no, I'm not, and that stings a little bit. I have read a lot, well, parts of a lot of relationship books, and if anyone thinks they can lead this group better than I can, put your hand down, Jerry. I am sharing my feelings, and that's what you need to do with your wives. Practice makes perfect. Who wants to go next? I guess I could give it a shot. Hi, guys. My name is Sheldon, and I am romantically challenged. Hi, Sheldon. Sheldon. I thought I'd just share a few things from the program that I've learned so far. First, if your wife says she doesn't know where she wants to go eat, well, that's pretty much code for Italian and expensive Italian. And secondly, if you're getting her an anniversary gift, the Snuggies, not really a very good idea, even if it's the leopard print. Learn that one the hard way. And then third, the simple act of doing dishes is a big, big win. I mean, a big one. So, do all the dishes you can. Thanks. I have no idea what you said, but that was good. Bathroom break isn't yet. Ah, uh, sorry, I gotta go. Sorry, guys. Oh, Mr. Big Guy doesn't want to share, does he? Not tonight. Probably doesn't care about his wife. Okay, um, I'll share. Um, okay. Um, this is a picture of my wife and kids. Um, I've been married for 20 years. We married young and I don't regret it. Have we had our share of storms? Sure. Do we have some amazing memories? <laughs> Too many to, to mention. Do I try to fix things? I do. 
but it's just because after 20 years of marriage, I still want to ride in and be my wife's knight in shining armor. I remember um, when we got engaged, her father looked at me and he said, just love her the way Christ loved the church. I smiled and said I would, having no idea what that meant. And I still don't know if I understand it. But you know what I want? I want to be a man who wakes up every morning and asks the question, how can I bless my wife? And God, men, isn't that what you want? I mean, isn't your wife worth it? Hey, wait. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Sit down, Jerry. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Okay, enough. Sit down. What? What is? What is going on? Sit down. Please, sit down. I need a wife.